Welcome to How to Power BI practice round nine. In this round, we are looking at how we can combine text values that are divided over multiple rows and not just all of them, but just the top N. So let's say the top three on the basis of a certain value field. Now, we have looked at this already in the previous round, round eight, how we could solve that using Power Query. Now we're going to solve it using DAX. If you're new to our channel and you're looking for ways to improve your Power BI skills, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our challenges and everything Power BI related. Now let's have a look at the challenge of today. The data set for this challenge contains four columns, one for the project, one for the week, one for employee, and one for hours worked. And I want to create a simple visual, which is gonna be a bar chart showing the total hours worked for project ABC. Okay, let's start there. So I'm gonna to go to my report view and insert a cluster bar chart. So on this visual, we're going to have a breakdown by project. So I'm gonna put that one onto the axis and I wanna show the hours worked. So let's create a separate measure for that. So I'm gonna go here to more options, new measure. And let's rename this measure to total hours worked. This is gonna be the sum of the hours worked column. Let's then also add it to our visual. And you see we have project A, C, B. So let's put it in ascending order based on the project name. So I'm gonna go here to more options, sort by project. And we want to have it in ascending order. There you go. So for this chart, we want to create a tooltip that shows all of the employee names that were working on a specific project. And later on, not all of them, but just the top three. As you might know, there's a quick measure, concatenated list, which basically allows you to have a list of unique values, for example, for employees. So let's use that as a starting point. So I'm gonna go here to our tracking, create a new quick measure. Now the calculation that we want is all the way at the bottom, concatenated list of values. And then the field that we want to use is gonna be the employee field. So let's just drag it on top of field. We only want to show three of them. I'm gonna click here on OK. Now let's have a look at the DAX code that was created for us. You can see it's, it's quite complex. And the question is, does it have to be this complex? And does it do what we want it to do? Now let's have a look. So I'm gonna go back to my bar chart and I'm gonna take the list of employee values. I'm gonna use it as my tooltip. So now that we have it on the tooltip, let's hover over project A and you see, it does give me three values, Beth, Kim, and Lars. However, these are not the employees with the most working hours for that specific project. Okay, so we have to make some changes to it. And actually, it's much easier to start from scratch than using what was created for us. Okay, so let's do this. So let's add a new measure again. And I'm gonna call this one top three employees. Now here we want to combine different text values that we find on different rows in the employee column. So what we can do is use the concatenate x function. Now let me show you how that one works. So over here we have concatenate x, evaluates an expression for each row on the table, then returns the concatenation of those values in a single string result, separated by the specified delimiter. Okay, so select it by pressing tab. Now over here first, we need a table, okay? Now, how can we get a table that just contains the unique values in the employee column? Well, for this, we can use a function that's called values. Now here, the values field just gives you a list of the unique values in a specific column, right? So we want to have the employee column. And then for the expression, we just wanna take the employee name. So we can just refer to the employee column and then close the concatenate x function. And now we can use that measure on a tooltip. And I'm gonna take out the previous one. And now when we hover over project A, it gives me a list of all of the employee names, but you see there's no separator yet. So let's go back to a measure and fix this. So you see that there is a third argument, which is optional because they're the square brackets, which stands for the delimiter. So as a delimiter, which has to be in between quotation marks, we can do quotation mark, comma, space, quotation mark. And now when we move over project A, 
you see we have a nice list of all of the employees okay and there are no duplicates because we're using the values function to get a unique list for of the employee names however at this point there is no particular sorting order applied to the employee names that get returned and to do that we can make use of the fourth and the fifth argument of the concatenate x function okay so we have to go back again to our measure so now let's have a look at the fourth and the fifth argument of the concatenate x function which is the order by expression and the order so we can extend a formula and say that the order by expression should be the total hours worked okay now we have already a measure for that so let's refer to that measure and then we can also say in which order should they then be uh, sorted in ascending order or descending order well here we want to have the top three so we need to choose descending order so let's move over project a again and you see now the sort order changed we have lars mark peter which which are the top three employees that work the most on project a now the only problem that we still have is that we also see all of the other employees that were not in the top three and those we want to remove and the reason that we see them still is because all of these other employees they were also working on project a and so far we didn't filter that list of employees that we got using the values function to only contain the top three okay but we can do this with another function which is called top n now let's go to table tools create a new table so that you can first see what this top n function does i'm gonna call this one top n table going to use the top n function now here we want to have the top three right so we start with three then we need the table which is going to be our employees our tracking table okay and then we need the order by expression which is the total hours worked okay so let's close it and have a look at what gets returned now here you see the top three employees based on the total hours worked in a particular week now you might have seen that over here for the top n function we can also place them in a certain sorting order okay so if i say here descending order because that's what i want in the end and you might be quite surprised that it's now not showing in descending order on the basis of hours worked however the top n function does not guarantee any sort order of this top three table here so the sort order gets applied to the expression and then it takes the top three. So now that we know what the top n function does, let's use it in our concatenate x function. So we have to go to our first argument where we are now having this unique list of employees and we want to limit that to only the top three. So I'm gonna use top n. So we want to have only the first three. Now the table is already there, this unique list of employees. And then also important, is that we want to have the top three based on the total hours worked. Now, whether we sort it or not, is not gonna have an impact as you have seen just before. Okay, so now when we hover over project A, you see we have Lars, Mark, Peter. And project B, we have Wesley, Stephanie, Jim, project C, Saskia, Gabi, Lars exactly the result that we were looking for so for the second part of this challenge we still need to break apart this bar into two series one that shows the total hours worked for the top three and one bar that shows the total hours worked for the other employees now here we have two options we either create two measures one for the top three one for the others or we create an additional column that says if the employee is in the top three or not and then place that on the legend and that is the option that i'm going to show you right now so let's go again to our data view and add a new column so let's rename this column to top three question mark and let's first return the top three for that specific project so that when we have here project a that it shows the top three people okay as a starting point for this measure now if i would just refer here to the top three employees measure that we wrote before that's not working so what we need to do is change the filter context so that it takes into account all of the rows for that specific project and then calculates the top three for those rows okay so i'm going to wrap this 
inside of a calculate function. Okay, so we're gonna calculate the top three and we want to remove the filter using the all function or we can do it also with all except. Okay, so it turns all the rows in the table except for those rows that are affected by the specified column filters. Okay, so here we can say that we want to uh, do this for the table hours tracking, the table that we're currently in. And then we want to remove the filter for everything except the project, okay? Because that's the only filter that we want to leave in place. Let's close the bracket. And let's also close the bracket for the calculate function. And you see now it works again. And now we have here the top three for project A, okay? But that's not what we are looking for. This is not the end result. We still need to check then if Peter is in that top three. Okay, so I need to wrap this inside of an if function. So let's say if. Now here we want to check if the employee Peter is in this top three. Okay, and this we can do with another function which is called contains string. So when we turn true, if one text string contains another text string. So let's try this out. So the within text is gonna be then the top three, which we have already written, okay? And the text tra string that we wanna look for is the employee, okay? So here we can just refer to the employee column and then let's close the bra brackets. Now this will return true or false. Now, of course, I still need to put in the result with true. So let's say if true, then yes, and otherwise no. Now let's quickly double check. So Peter was in the top three and you see it returns yes. Okay, so I'm gonna switch back to my report and now I can take that calculated column and use it on the legend for my bar chart. You see, we have now the breakdown. Now let's also show the labels. So here in the format, go to data labels and let's turn them on. And there you go. That's the end result that we were looking for for this challenge. That's it for the solution of round nine. If you still have any questions, then just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching. And if you like these challenges, then don't forget to smash that like button. And I hope to see you in the next video.